Hi, I'm Kimi. Welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use FileZilla FTP client. There are many of FTP client over there which are free and premium, but I'm familiar with FileZilla because it's both compatible with Windows and Mac OS X operating system. So let's get started. So the first step is you go to FileZilla official website, which is in FileZilla-project.org here. And then as you can see, we have two download buttons. And if you use Windows, of course, you can choose this. But I'm using uh, Mac OS X, so I'm going to choose this button. Click that, and I will download it from Salesforce here. And agree and proceed about the cookies, and it will be downloaded very soon. So when it's downloaded, we go to Downloads folder or any folder that you use uh, to save your downloads. And then I'm going to open this file by double clicking it and then it will be open with archive um, utility and then I'm going to move the unused file to the trash and move the file zilla to application folder and then in application I'm going to look file zilla and then hold your option key and drag it to your um, dock so any time you use your file zilla you can just navigate to your dock and uh, start it from there. Just going to close this download site and now let's start our new FileZilla. So this is the interface once you install and open FileZilla for the first time. You can read if you have time the documentation and getting help uh, files here but for now I'm just going to hit OK. The next step is we're going to find host and username and password and so forth but we're not going to use Quick Connect. We're going to use this uh, site manager icon over there on the top or you can go to file and sign up site manager and it even has a um, keyboard to cut for comment and s so let's open site manager so now uh, this site manager has no sites at all because it's new and we need to create our new site configuration click on this new site button and name it like our site for example i'm going to use this site so let's say I'm going to use this site as my configuration. So copy that site and go to FileZilla again. And I'm going to type it uh, to paste it here. This is my site. And the host is usually uh, your ftp.yourdomain.com or .info depending on your um, domain extensions. However, if you are not sure about your host and you want to know for sure what it is, we go to our cPanel. So Basically, after you sign up with you, your web host, you should get an email. So I'm already having one account for this demo in HostGator. You can choose any web host you have, you prefer. But in this video, I have an um, account with HostGator. And as you can see, after I sign up with them, I have this uh, email from them, my account info. So as written here, I can even access my cPanel by uh, clicking this your control panel link. I'm going to open it in my uh, new tab and then I'm going to copy my username which is this. Copy and make sure that you're not uh, copying space or anything here. Just plain username and my password is this. Copy this too. And obviously I change mine already before I create this video so I'm not going to paste that but if you have yours you can paste it here. So once you log into your cPanel you will want to scroll down and find uh, files and FTP accounts. Click on that button. Now here we're going to scroll down and see this icon and uh, see our username. This is what we need. So we're going to configure, going to click that configure FTP client uh, on the right side and if we click it it will be expanded and we see uh, some data here for example like FTP username and FTP server what we need for the host in in uh, FileZilla is FTP server so we're going to copy this and in FileZilla host we're going to paste it and make sure that it doesn't have space and so forth and then the port the port we will now leave it by uh, default so it's empty the most important is that protocol because we don't use FTP plain um, or plain FTP we use on SFTP this is for the secure FTP so we're going to choose that and as you notice everything is now clean and we need to put on port so 
Here it says that SFTP port is 22, but it is not exactly right. If we go to uh, host cutter, um, host cutter uh, help, so we're going to type in there in Google search and here in this host cutter support files, we see that if we go down, we would use port 222 to log in with SFTP. So we go back to our cPanel again, uh, FileZilla again, sorry, and here the port we're going to type in 2222, so 4 times 2, and then lock on type we choose on normal. Now, in this case, you can also choose as for password and interactive, which means that FileZilla will ask you to type in your password and username every time you connect with FileZilla, but for now I'm just using normal. And then the username is actually the username of your cPanel, which is this. This is my username and this is my password. You can copy this and paste it here, but I also change this. And then the comments is you can uh, comment it like uh, anything that you will remember or you will know what kind of sites that has this configuration. So I'm going to type in my domain something like this. The next step is we go to advanced step. Well this is optional but if you want you can also uh, choose or browse your files where you have your local directory of your website. I will personally will uh, set it up. So if you follow along my other tutorial, which is installing WordPress in Mavericks, I already set up my local site in my computer. So that's why I'm going to hit browse to browse my files. And mine was in application and then mem and then htdocs and then my blog web 6 local so this folder so I'm going to choose this directory and FileZilla will automatically um, fill it up with the path to my local site so next is the default remote directory if you're not sure where uh, or which one it is just let it empty and then we can hit on connect so we hit on connect now and then it will be connected to our website but I mean web server so and because we log in with SFTP so secure FTP it will then ask you if we um, want to log in with this um, host key and because we want to log in with this host key we going to click on OK and now it says that we could not connect server which is going to uh, go in again to our uh, configuration and look maybe it's wrong maybe our password word was wrong and hit connect again and yes the password was wrong now once you connect it you might be wondering where are my WordPress files if we go back to our cPanel and home and here we go to uh, scroll down until we find files and file manager and we go for document root for this domain and you want to see these files that in fact that you have this file after you install WordPress so this is exactly the files where you got when you install WordPress but we don't see that in FileZilla to see that we're going to maximize this window to see that you have to put on the path so let's go to the public HTML because it's usually on public underscore HTML or htdocs it depends on your host but with this host I have it on my public underscore HTML so let's double click it to open this directory and as you can see this is the uh, the files that I also can see in my cPanel here so as you can see this is the directory which is exactly the same that now you can use it in your FTP in FileZilla and as you notice that this is also a lock icon there if you have read it says that the connection is encrypted this is more secure if then if you use normal FTP or a plain FTP so 
let's go now going to uh, copy this the remote side and we disconnect again by clicking this uh, cross button right cross there so now that we are disconnected to from our server we go back to our site manager again and then in advanced tab now you going to uh, paste what we copied here in default remote directory and paste it there and then next time when we hit connect button it will bring you directly to these files here and not in on the top path so here it is our file so the next question that you might have now is how we use it so I will give you a small example for now so I'm going to hide everything except of my filezilla so here for example now we're going to upload some files remember this is our uh, files that we have locally and this is our remote server so now I'm going to upload this file for example so what you can do is uh, select it and right click it hit upload or you can just do drop and uh, drag and drop here because I already have mine there so it will ask me to override or skip and so forth but for now I'm just going to override the existing file so I'm going to hit OK so here is our file you can also uh, view and edit it from here so to edit this file directly we're going to select this file and right click it and view or edit and it will normally ask you to open your default text editor or uh, your HTML editor or whatever uh, editor that you have in your system but I've already installed FileZilla in this computer that's why it asked me uh, it doesn't ask me but it's instead right direct me to Chrome because I open HTML with Chrome but we don't want that we want that uh, if we view and edit from FileZilla we want to open it in our um, text editor that's why now we go to uh, FileZilla and preferences click on that but before that I want to uh, note that you might not have this problem but if you have this problem you go to this preference and scroll down until you see file editing select on that and then use custom editor and then you browse what your text editor is because I have mine on application let's say now I want to use um, sublime text so I'm going to select that text editor and then click open it and now I have this sublime text as my custom editor the next step is I will copy this copy and then go to file type association and here we're going to uh, type in HTML because that file is, is HTML and paste that paste it here and then also for PHP and paste it here and you can add any files you like and here then I'm going to hit OK and now if I select this I mean select this file and then right click and view and e or edit it will open sublime for me and reopen local file and as you can see now it open sublime text editor for me so now if we go to our website say uh, we use earlier how to use wordpress3.info and slash file sila test.html let's open that in our browser and of course it shows only this is file sila text like what we have here so let's now edit it say we want to add a href we're going to link it to my blog for example www.blog .web6.org and then my blog for the anchor tag and then uh, closing tag and hit save and now we go to FileZilla again FileZilla will ask you if you want to update uh, the updated file and I'm going to hit yes because I want to update it and it will connect it and once it uh, successfully transferred we go back to our browser again to test whether this file is uh, updated going to refresh it and yes it has now link if I click it that it will be directed to my blog so that is the small example if you use FileZilla you can upload file and we can also delete it from here just right click it and delete and it will be gone from the web server so that's it guys for today thank you for watching and goodbye take care